Good morning. 32 months ago, we launched ChatGPT. And since then, it has become the default way that people use AI. In that first week, a million people tried it out. And we thought that was pretty incredible. But now, about 700 million people use ChatGPT every week and increasingly rely on it to work, to learn, for advice, to create, and much more. Today, finally, we're launching GPT-5. GPT-5 is a major upgrade over GPT-4 and a significant step along our path to AGI. Now, today, we're going to show you some incredible demos. We'll talk about some performance metrics. But the important point is this. We think you will love using GPT-5 much more than any previous AI. It is useful, it is smart, it is fast, and it's intuitive. But it's not only asking now. GPT-5 can also do stuff for you. It can write an entire computer program from scratch to help you with whatever you'd like. And we think this idea of software on demand is going to be one of the defining characteristics of the GPT-5 era. Until now, our users have had to pick between the fast responses of standard GPTs or the slow, more thoughtful responses from our reasoning models. But GPT-5, it eliminates this choice. It aims to think just the perfect amount to give you the perfect answer. Today, we're going to show a series of demos in coding, in writing, in learning, and in health. But GPT-5 isn't limited to these domains. It's very useful in all cases where you require deep reasoning or expert-level knowledge, in things like math, in physics, even in things like law. And the exciting thing is we're excited to make this available to everyone, even to our free tier. The best part is that we're bringing this frontier intelligence to all users. GPT-5 is rolling out today for free plus pro and team users. And next week, we'll roll it out to enterprise and EDU. For the first time, our most advanced model will be available to the free tier. Free users will start with GPT-5, and when they hit their limit, they'll transition to GPT-5 Mini, a smaller but still highly capable model. It actually outperforms O3 on many dimensions. Plus users will still have significantly higher usage than free users, and our pro subscribers will get unlimited GPT-5, along with GPT-5 Pro, extended thinking for even more detailed and reliable responses when you just need that extra depth. Suppose your kid is in middle school physics and they want to learn about Bernoulli effect. They need your help with their homework, and you might be like, wait, I might need some help with that too. <laughs> so you could ask GPT-5, give me a quick refresher on the Bernoulli effect and why airplanes are the shape they are. Since this is a pretty straightforward prompt, um, GPT-5 actually doesn't need extra time to think about it and answers right away. But it still gives me a high quality answer and explains the concept clearly. So here it says, like Bernoulli effect means like faster moving fluid has lower pressure and slow moving fluid has higher pressure. So to make this even more helpful, I'm going to ask GPT-5 to create a moving demo to illustrate this. So I could ask, explain this in detail and create a moving SVG in the canvas tool to show me. This is a pretty complex task because now GPT-5 actually needs to build the visual. Therefore, GPT-5 takes a moment to think through the answer so you can come back with something more comprehensive and accurate. So you see that GPT-5 has already written like 200, more than 200 lines of code already. Um, and while the model is thinking, you can also tap here to expand the chain of thought to actually see what's going on under the hood. For example, the GPT-5 was thinking about, oh, the user wants a moving SVG visualization in Canvas. I actually need to create HTML code to do that. OK, so it's already done. So it looks like ChatGPT just finished like 300 or we're near 400 lines of code in two minutes. So let's see if the code can actually run. OK. Wow. Nice. That's yeah. Nice. So with just a simple prompt, GPT-5 created this interactive and engaging demo that I can actually play with. So I can actually change the airspeed here to see how the lift and the pressure change accordingly. I can also tweak the angle of attack to see if my plane will actually fly or crash. 
<laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah. And I will actually try to build something that I would find useful, uh, which is building a web app for my partner to learn how to speak French so that she can better communicate with my family. So here I have a prompt. I will execute it. It asks exactly what I just said. Um, please build a web app for my partner to learn French. One thing to note is that GPT-5, just like many of our other models, have a lot, has a lot of diversity in its answers. So what I like doing, especially when you do uh, this type of vibe coding, is to take this message and ask it multiple times to GPT-5, and then you can decide which one you prefer. So I'm going to open a few tabs. I'm just going to paste there. Great. So while it's working on it, uh, let's read through exactly the prompt I wrote. Create a beautiful and highly interactive web app for my partner, an English speaker, uh, to learn French. And then I gave a little bit more details, um, track her daily progress, use a highly engaging theme. Oh, it's already working. I'm going to put it on the side for now. Use a highly engaging theme, include a variety of activities like flashcards and quizzes that she can interact with. And then to make it even more fun for her, uh, I actually asked GPT-5 to embed an educational game, uh, which is based on the old snake game. Uh, but I asked to add this <laughs> French touch to it, which is to uh, replace the, the snake with a mouse and the apples with cheese. So I can simply press run code. So I'll do that and cross my fingers. Whoa. Oh, nice. nice. I really voilà. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, a, nice, uh, a nice website. Uh, name is Midnight in Paris. Oh, I Learn love together. that. So romantic. Um, we also see a few tabs, flashcards, quiz, and mouse and cheese, exactly like I asked for. Uh, I will play that. So this says Le Chat, which says the, uh, the cat, sorry. Le Chat. Well, that's pretty good pronunciation. What does that mean? The cat. Oh. So I can reveal and check if GPT-5 is correct. It is. Um, so if I press Next, oh, and I, I don't know if you saw, I think it actually updated the progress bar, which is exactly what I had asked for. Mm -hmm. Let's check the quiz. Uh, here is the word non, which is no. So if I press on no. it, bien joué, which means congrats. <laughs> and uh, it, updated, it updated the progress bar again. Uh, and let's check the mouse and cheese tab. OK, that seems like a mouse. Here's the cheese. Um, I'm going to try to play it. Uh, I'm, can't promise I'm going to be good at it. OK, seems to be working. La gare. Oh. <laughs> Un café. So, indeed, just when I eat the cheese, Le chat. it gives me a new French word. It's actually super Le complicated, beurre. and I already lost. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been steadily improving voice over the past year to make it more useful for everyone. First, it sounds incredibly natural, just like you're talking to a real person. Second, we've added the video so that it sees what you see while chatting with you. Third, you also translate between languages consistently and smoothly across turns. But today, we're doing something very special. We're, we're bringing our best voice experience to everyone. Free users can now chat for hours, while paid subscribers can have nearly unlimited access. And voice is also available in custom GPT. Plus, subscribers now can custom tailor the voice experience exactly to their need. It will follow your instruction closely. Let's try something fun. Excited. So I can ask the voice model to give me a comprehensive answer, a concise one, or even just a single word. Mm -hmm. Hey, chat, could you only answer to me in one word, please, from now on? Absolutely. OK. Describe the plot of the book, Pride and Prejudice. Relationships. OK, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Give me a piece of wisdom. Patience. Patience. So that's the word of wisdom from our <laughs> voice model. And I think our model is trying to say, thank you for your patience waiting for GPT-5. <laughs> yeah. So um, I have a younger cousin, and I want to make a game for her. So I, I want to make a 3D game that incorporates a castle. So you can see my prompt. Um, I'll just kick this off. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it's always the non-AR part. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, OK. So you can see my prompt, um, create a beautiful castle. I've included some details, like we want people patrolling the walls, some movement, horses. Um, and I want a mini game 
where I can pop balloons by clicking on them. And this should make a sound effect. So let me run this in cursor. Um, I'll just paste it in. And um, I'm, I'm going to show um, an example that I've already generated just to save some time. Um, so here is the beautiful castle that the model made. So it's just wild how, you know, from a concise prompt, the model has this great sense of aesthetics where it's, it's made this like floating rock, um, made a 3D castle. And if you zoom in, you can see like tons of detail, like these guards cannons that are walking firing. around, cannons firing. Do you want to fire the cannons if you click oh, this yes. button? Of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to? There we go. Yeah, there we go. So you can fire the cannons. Um, you can even chat with the characters. So we'll say hi to Captain Rowan. They have names. They have <laughs> names. Say hello to the merchant. Merchants <laughs> selling some stuff. Uh, what's your favorite song? A Ballad of Banners and Dawns. Mm. Nice. Give me some wisdom. Curiosity is volatile. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Um, minigame. Yeah. Do you guys want to try the minigame? Absolutely. Let's, let's play the minigame. So if you, hit this, if you hit this button, you want to try it, Greg? All right. So you can fire Pop at the these balloons. balloons. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not good at it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can ask GPT-5 for some help with it. Yeah, a oh, you, you hit one. Yeah. Yes. I got one. Oh, there we go. We got a sound There's effect. A sound effect. <laughs> These are historically accurate balloons. Yes. <laughs> Working with GPT-5 has been really fun and profound for me because for me, this is the first model I've worked with that actually has a sense of creativity. And we're really excited to see how GPT-5 unlocks your creativity.